Hey there YouTube, this is Lewis with Sky Blue Adventures. I'm uh, coming to you from South Miami-Dade County. Uh, in this video I'm going to review what's new with e-propulsion and a pretty cool project that is in the planning phase with one of the new offerings from e-propulsion. Just a few days ago e-propulsion released their new lineup for 2021 and the biggest change and the most significant is hydro generation, uh, which we'll talk about in a minute. First, let's talk about another important aspect, the 48 volt architecture. For 2020, the Spirit 1.0 Plus introduced the 48 volt architecture along with the new 48 volt E-Series batteries uh, that made a significant cost reduction in, in, in batteries to support the whole lineup and uh, afforded the Spirit 1.0 Plus the ability to use the E-Series batteries and provide exceptional run times and range. In the 2021 lineup, uh, customers also benefit from the 48 volt architecture by being able to configure uh, their electric boat to suit their needs since the full lineup of control options now controls pretty much the entire line. Uh, this allows setups to suit all types of boats, whether they require a tiller motor, a uh, fixed motor that's not steerable, or a remote steer motor, uh, and it gives boaters the ability to mount the remote throttle uh, where they need it and where they want it. Another innovation with controls is the safety wristband uh, that works with the top mount control and with the tiller. It eliminates having to be tethered to the motor and increases safety for the entire crew and passengers up to eight wristbands um, and not just the operator and this is a great safety feature uh, if you have little ones on the boat. Now let's talk about hydro generation which is available in all the EVO models including the Spirit 1.0 Evo Tiller and Remote Steer. Uh, this is an industry first and has applications for a wide variety of boats, uh, but I want to talk about day sailors uh, like the ones that are here around me today. There's a few fast sailing, sailing boats in here in the yard, uh, like these trimarans on my, on my right uh, that, benefit from a light, that would benefit from a lightweight Spirit 1.0 Evo uh, or the powerful Navy 3 or 6 Evo that are practically maintenance free uh, and after a day of brisk sailing uh, and hydro generation, we'll return to the ramp uh, with nearly a full charge and ready to head out again without the fuss of, you know, refueling or the maintenance involved with a gas engine. We're all busy and maintaining any boat uh, has enough worries, so being able to head out for the day uh, or the weekend uh, with one less concern makes the whole experience much more enjoyable. After all, that's why we spend the day out here, the weekend out here, it's to get away to disconnect uh, and just to have uh, some time to recharge our own batteries. I became an e-propulsion dealer primarily to offer the innovative electric motors from e-propulsion to my Thacacat customers um, who were looking for the benefits of the uh, electric outboards. Uh, and also because I use the Spirit 1.0 myself on my own Thacacat uh, that I use as a tender for my Hunter 306 here behind me. Uh, but there's another really cool uh, innovation that I'm looking forward to personally and I'm very excited about. I say that innovation uh, for last, uh, and that is the Navy 6.0 6 Evo Pot. Uh, I'm excited uh, because I'll be converting this Hunter 306 with the Navy 6.0 Evo Pod, the Evo side mount control, and the E Series uh, 175 battery. This is going to reduce weight from uh, removing the inboard diesel motor the transmission and the shaft. Uh, I'll also be able to remove the 20 gallon fuel tank and utilize that space for additional uh, water tankage um, or just for more storage. Uh, the hydro generation combined with the two solar panels will keep the boat ready to go. It's going to reduce maintenance. It's going to reduce any issues associated with diesel, uh, with stuff growing in the diesel tank uh, or just having to worry about refueling. Not to mention, it's going to reduce uh, the smell of diesel, the vibration from the diesel motor, um, the noise uh, from the from the diesel motor. Uh, overall, the experience is just going to be much more peaceful and much more enjoyable under power. Right now, when I get to the end of the channel, I'm anxiously awaiting to shut that uh, diesel motor off and just get a nice peaceful sail going. Keep an eye out uh, on this channel and on, on our webpage for updates uh, because the conversion of this boat is going to be documented and uh, we'll follow up with performance reviews uh, and this boat will then be available 
for customers considering e-propulsion for their own uh, boats to experience it for themselves. If you have any question about the uh, e-propulsion lineup, either the 2020 line um, or the upcoming 2021 line, feel free to reach out to me at info at skybluedventures.com uh, with any questions you may have. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care.